Okay, guys, let's look at a triangle escape here. Triangle, the, the triangle is one of the strongest moves that I can be caught in, all right? Because now I'm dealing with both of uh, his legs, the pressure of that squeezing my arm and my neck together, all right? And if I'm not careful with this move, and I'm in a deep triangle, I am definitely gonna get tapped out here. Very uncomfortable for me. I'm gonna tap out or, or maybe I'm gonna pass out. So we have to have some uh, good movement from here. Number one, the first thing we're looking at is obviously never get in a triangle because the formula for a triangle is your neck and one arm. So this isn't a good idea, okay, passing like that. Always two arms in, two arms out, okay? That keeps me away from triangles. Sometimes, however, off of uh, movement, I'm, I'm gonna get caught in a triangle. But when he's setting up a triangle, one of the escapes is immediately look up, okay? And notice how my hands are low by his body here. I'm not gonna push off of here, okay? I'm gonna push off low, right by his hip. So as he's beginning to, to lock it, I'm gonna push off and I'm gonna turn, my back is gonna get straight and I'm gonna come up here. And from here, my right hand can go inside, my left hand can go inside. So I've got two arms in versus that I've got two arms out, or some guys will get to here, and if they feel comfortable enough, they'll even pass guard uh, throwing his leg over, okay? So anytime the guy, a little slow, whatever, he starts to set up a triangle, and I can, I look up immediately. And when I say look up, literally look up and have your neck straight like this. Don't look down at him, even with your eyes. All it needs is a little bit of a curvature on your spine, and he's gonna pull your neck down, and you're gonna be uh, trapped here, okay? Sometimes what happens, when I'm here, now it's kind of like uh, very tight, you know? He might be grabbing my head or something. Look, a little bit harder to look up here. The guy's strong. So what I'm gonna do here is one of my favorite Gilas escapes, okay? I'm in here like this, and look at my, go ahead, lock a little bit with your, yeah, uh, your legs locked. Yeah, look at my right arm. I put it here, and that opens him up. My left hand grabs here, and now I'm gonna look up to my right. Okay, so as soon as I'm getting in a tight spot, I'm like this, and I'm putting pressure. See, I'm pushing his knee back this way. What he wants is my neck and as little amount of shoulder as possible to get a, a tight triangle. When you're taught to do a triangle, that's what you want. So what I'm trying to do is put in a lot of shoulder into him, and I'm making myself a lot bigger, okay, by doing this. I'm gonna open up this way, all right? I'm in here. Look, 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 And I turn. My right arm, my elbow's gonna go up and it's gonna come out. A lot of people try to bring their elbow straight this way and I'm fighting the strength of his thigh, of his leg right there, okay? My elbow going straight back, it's not gonna happen. My elbow has to go up and then out as my chest is going out, okay? So I'm here, he's putting me in a triangle. Look, up and out and I'm gonna open that triangle up, and I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna especially, I especially like this one for MMA because I have to get out of a triangle quick. You'll see a lot of guys here, and they're starting to work their posture. All of a sudden, the guy's got long arms. What's happening? I'm getting punched in the face. To defend, I'm gonna probably bury myself a little bit lower, and it's gonna help him because he's gonna finish me in a triangle. So what you wanna do is as soon as you're in here, whether it's deep or not, elbow up, elbow out. My left hand is the hand that stops him from following me, okay? So what it'll do is come across his body and I pop it this way and turn. Sometimes even I'm, I'm like in a deep triangle here. Look, I start to come out, I start to come out, I start to come out. And I open this guy up. If I have to, my left hand goes across his body like I did. Sometimes I'll even throw my left leg all the way over his body and keep turning, keep turning. Depending on the length of his legs, it, it, it shows me how far I'm gonna have to, tr to turn, okay? So, so far, off the triangle, always elbow up, elbow out, hand on the ground, this hand across him, walk, 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 and drive forward at the same time to get out of there, okay? <clears throat> Let's look at another triangle escape here. Sometimes I'm in a lot of trouble with the triangle. Let's turn this way. He goes to triangle me and the guy has a triangle, and look where my arm is. It's a cross. No way am I gonna get it to do this anymore. I'm in a lot of trouble here, okay? What I'm gonna do is grab his knee with my right hand and my left hand and, and grab here. Now I'm gonna put my weight on his leg and I'm gonna drive up his leg like this, and I'm gonna open it here. From here, my right hand's gonna come back in, 
and I'm gonna have two arms under, okay? What I don't want him to do at that point is go to my back. So generally, as soon as I open, my right hand comes back under, so I'm able to get out. I'm not stuck here, him swiveling to my back, okay? Take a look at this one. This one here, uh, it's a very good escape. You have to be careful with it. It, does, it should not be your primary escape. It should be one of those where you're in a little bit of trouble, you're deep in a triangle, and you wanna get out. My right hand, if it's my right side that's being triangled, is gonna grab the top of his knee. My left hand is gonna grab the top of my, my uh, right hand like this. It's important that my head is not turned to the right when I'm doing this movement. It has to look to the left and I'm gonna drive. My hips are gonna go to the ground and what I'm trying to do is open his legs up. His legs are locked in a triangle, like uh, other way. And what I'm trying to do is slide this up, this way, open, 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 open it, okay? So I'm here like this, look. Again, don't be back here, all right? Drive forward a little bit, all right? One, two, push down, here. Now what I'm gonna do is put pressure on that leg this way, just like that, my hips are low. I open this triangle up. Worst case scenario here, I don't care. He might get good position, but I'm out. Now what I'm gonna do is take my right hand and come back under and come back to him to start to pass the guard, okay? This one takes a little bit of time practicing for you to get good at it, but it's one of, one of the best escapes out there, all right? Take a look at it one more time. I'm here, ultimately I want this, but I'm in trouble now. I notice my arm, look, it's in the center, it got caught in a bad spot, I'm not gonna come the other way. I'm not gonna come out the other way. Here, here. Drive, attack this leg. Elbows on the ground. Turn this way and drive forward to get out. Drive forward to get out and then I escape.